Well, hello everyone. Brandon's back again with another potential video. I'm at a beautiful venue in the northeast corner of the state, up in Sheboygan. Behind me stands a big, beautiful house. The property dates back to 1848, and I got one heck of a view in front of me as well. I have all of Lake Michigan to look at. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful day. Let's see what we can get onto. Thanks for stopping by. And well, I guess the first notable find so far is this jar lid. I did find another mason jar lid that was broken apart in pieces. This one's still got the glass in it, albeit broken, like the other one too. Uh, been slim picking so far. Found a 2000 nickel and a memorial scent however i'm still optimistic got this beautiful front yard got a lot of interference up near the front so i'm gonna end up going slow and really using my ears still got behind the house of course to go and it's quite a bit of property I imagine I won't be able to cover it all today, but still see what we can get onto. Still enjoying this hobby and saving history. We'll see you next good beep. Well, the next little decent find is this aluminum underwear button. High tones have been a few and far between out here. I dug a railroad spike right about there. That was giving me a 12, 13. <clears throat> Taste after this was giving me a 22 to a 26. And yeah, it'd be a two hole underwear button made out of aluminum. Found a few of these in my time of detecting. So that's kind of fits the time frame for this old house. So far, no old coins to speak of, but some relics and having a decent day. I'm sure I'll swing over one eventually. And if I sound a little sick, it's because I am. I'm a little under the weather. I guess what other better way to spend your time under the weather than out in some beautiful weather and a gorgeous view of Lake Michigan. Well, enough of this underwear button. Let's keep going. We'll catch you in the next good beep. And through all this interference, you can see my machine just going nuts. Have a listen to this. Yeah, it's going nuts. I was able to squeak out a repeatable high tone. I just brushed it back. I haven't seen what it is yet, but it was giving me a 19 to a 17. Oh, it's either going to be a zinc penny, I'm thinking, or could I get my first old coin of this place an Indian head scent let's see what we got here oh we have an Indian let's go okay <laughs> I know you could probably barely see that in the screen but we do have an Indian head scent right here she's pretty slick too let me let me get this one cleaned off a little bit and I'll be right back She's a slicky. We have ourselves an Indian head scent. I do believe it's 1885. There's the one scent with the wreath on the back. Awesome. I am very pleased with this. I was hoping I could just find one of these today and I already hit my goal, so. Everything else is just a bonus. Got ourselves a little Lady Liberty here. Indian head scent. If you see back there, that cute little golden has been paying me visits while I'm here too. It's a beautiful day, even though I look sick, and I am sick, I'm still enjoying the heck out of it. Let's keep it moving. Well, let's see if we can get on anything else.
This next find is kind of a lesson in not giving up. So right here, I dug a wadded up piece of aluminum, like the edge of a can. Got a similar signal right next to it. And it's the clasp for a set of suspenders. It's got a lion on it. Now this is the third one of these that I've found. First one I found was complete and the second one I found, if you guys watch the channel, I found at that house where I found the two Wisconsin State Seal buttons along with the Wisconsin State Seal watch bob. Yeah, so just a relic of the past. Suspender class, but there's the teeth that would grab onto the, I guess, the suspender material itself, I guess. And... Yeah, another piece of history. We're on a roll here. Let's keep it moving. See you at the next good beep. And well, this next find, got ourselves another bird band. That's what I found the last time I filmed the video was a bird band. Number 8803. Uh, something Wisconsin certified or certificate or something like that. So, yeah. Oh. Nothing else noteworthy to report outside that British pound. That was super cool. Never found one of those before. And future Brandon here. As a matter of fact, I thought I had recorded that clip of me finding that British pound, but apparently not. I must have forgot to press record, but I was pretty shocked to find that and happy to have it. Like I said, I have never found one of those before. Moving on. And it's a 2010, and if that, if you need some explaining with that, this is a venue as well they hold weddings there's a the refinished barn is set for weddings obviously there you can stand and get married in front of lake michigan and there is a bed and breakfast on site as well and then a house built in like the 40s or 50s alongside this big one here yeah lots of ground to cover i'm probably gonna be taking a break here soon but we'll get back to you if we find out anything else and well, I've moved on to the backyard now. Just done one pass down this hill, making my way back up. My new buddy. I found myself a Monica Reed plate, or half of one anyway. That was several inches down. Lots of burnt charcoal, coke. You know, clearly this was like the trashy area which the back of the houses usually are. I'm not complaining though. Old trash is much cooler than new trash. <laughs> and with that, I suppose we can move on to the next good beep. This next target was giving me a 15 to 17, and I'm gonna need the internet's help because I don't know what this is. The first thing I saw was this. A uh, very chintzy, but not iron material. This is iron. This looks like it might have a spring right there. I don't know. It's these that I'm really confused about. <clears throat> Clearly they have reeds. So clearly this was a instrument of some kind, but it's like it would be circular. I've never seen that before. I'm gonna need some help with that. Out of this next plug, I pulled something. I don't know what it is. 
It says treasure the world over. Try sure a patent number. Looks like a screw on cap of some kind. I'll have to look up that patent number. And I'll flash some pictures of what it is. On to the next good beep. Well, the wind's picked up. It's beautiful out here. I moved from behind the old house here and then stood in front of the house. It's been the 50s and the 60s. And my first decent signal that I've gotten this whole time out here, in the front of this yard that is, I think it's a 55 Weedy. Way more modern. What was that, 70 years newer than that Indian head scent that I found? But it is the next most notable thing I've found since those weird reeds and that strange cap. So I'm gonna hunt around here, keep zigzagging my way here, and then make my way to the backyard and see what else I can get on. Meet you at the next good beep. Well, folks, thanks for stopping by. I would have filmed an outro here, but the camera doesn't do it justice. I was really starting to feel pretty tired and sick. I will leave you with this beautiful view from the venue and leave a link below to their website. As always, folks, thanks for stopping by and stay safe and take care.